So I'm going to instruct in clean installation of Windows 10 RTM after you've carried out the initial upgrade and you've made a recovery drive. In this example, I'm going to use a Latitude D820 and I'm going to use a recovery drive created from another system, which was just a test virtual machine with the same edition of Windows 10, Windows 10 Professional RTM. I have also replaced the solid state drive in the system with another solid state drive. I want to check whether the product activation works with minor hardware changes. So I've got my Dell powered off and what I'm going to do is insert the USB flash drive and then power it up. I'll press F12 as I get to the bias screen. This will allow me to enter the boot menu. Note this is a legacy bias. So I'm just going to press the down arrow key and then highlight USB storage device and press enter. For a UEFI bias, secure boot should be enabled and you should boot to UEFI. And the recovery drive will be made correctly for this. The first thing you'll be presented with is the keyboard layout. So I'm going to select English and United Kingdom English. And then you want to select Troubleshoot and then you want to select Recover from a Drive. The setup will get things ready and then you'll be presented with the options to either just remove your files or to clean the drive fully. The first setting formats your drive i.e. it just assigns all the data on the drive to free space. Third party programs and utilities can easily look at the free space and recover files. The second setting wipes the drive, that is it gets formatted, the data gets assigned to free space and then it overwrites the data. Cleaning the drive takes a long time compared to the standard Windows format. However, it removes viruses and malware and nasties on your drive much more efficiently and it makes recovery of your data more difficult. So I've sped up the recording 64 times and I'm just letting Windows recover this PC. So it's wiping the drive. And after it wipes the drive, it'll just quickly perform a disk check and just check that the drive is okay. So this will take one or two minutes as well. And after that, the Windows setup will begin and Windows will begin to install. Again, this will take some time depending on the speed of your hardware. As you can see, wiping the drive and beginning the install are all unattended. So you can simply go away for an hour or something and then come back when it's ready. And the first thing you'll be presented with is your language settings and your date and time settings. So I just need to change the time zone to the United Kingdom and then select next. And then you'll be given the license agreement. So I'll just select accept and then you'll be prompted to connect to your wireless network. So I'm just going to do that now. And then you get the options to use express settings or to customize the settings. So I'll select customize so you can see what the custom settings are and I'll select next and next. So Windows may take some time to connect to the internet and to apply product activation. You'll be asked who owns this PC. You can select your organization or you can select I own it if it's your own PC. You can sign in with a Microsoft account or you can create a new Microsoft account if you desire. I'm going to skip this step and sign in with a local account just for quickness. So just type in my name 
and then I'll press next and then the final stages of the installation will complete. Windows will begin to set up the apps and set up your Windows desktop. And you'll be told let's start and you'll enter the Windows 10 desktop. So three of the things I wanted to check with Microsoft product activation was one, what happens if I use a recovery drive created in another system on this system? Two, what happens if I change the hardware on the system? And three, what happens if I sign in with a, a Microsoft account? So I changed all three of these in this test and I want to check is Windows still activated? And from its activation status, I can say yes, it is. This means the device's hardware profile is stored with the Microsoft product activation server and it can be clean installed with the uh, Windows 10 professional recovery drive as often as I like. <coughs> so now I'm going to open up the device manager. Just right click the start button and select device manager. And I can see that Windows 10 has most of the system drivers inbuilt. However, it is missing the video controller driver and I get given just a Microsoft basic display adapter. So I'm just going to open up Windows Update now. This driver should automatically be obtained from Windows Update. So I'm just going to select check for updates. And it might take a couple of minutes for Windows to check for the updates. And my screen's just flashed because Windows has actually started installing the display driver. So it's downloading the updates. And I'm just going to select the details. And there you go, there's the video driver. So I just speed up the recording of the installation of updates. And then I'll restart my computer. So it will restart tomorrow at 3 in the morning, but I want to restart now, so I'll just select restart. So as normal, Windows will begin to apply and configure the updates, and it will restart. Once you restart, it will configure the updates, and then log you in. And I just want to check the device manager now to make sure that the video driver has been correctly applied. And as you see, there's no error message and the video driver is applied. So that's it. The device has all its drivers installed and Windows 10 is up and running on a clean installation. No issues with product activation or anything.